Okay, so uh, now I've been doing some small jobs and I've actually gone and bought myself some new oil. We're going to uh, drain the oil and then fill it with new oil and then we can uh, drive it again and see if there's still diesel getting into the oil. Um, the defender is back in the garage. I've had it out for a few days and driven around and I still uh, get diesel in my oil. I've previously done the uh, injector washes and seals brick part once first time and the second time uh, I did the brick parts once again because my shipment never came from the UK. But now I finally uh, received a genuine seal kit from Land Rover. So I'm going to open up the engine again and then we're going to first test and see which injector is leaking. Uh, because I've seen some videos on YouTube, one video in particular, and I'll link it down below so they can get some credit too, where they showed how to check which injector is leaking and then you can switch places uh, and see if it's still leaking in the same position or if it's that specific injector. So um, we'll see. I'll uh, open up the engine and then we'll do that test and see if we can um, find out. Let's get started on this. So um, what I've done here is I've taken off the rocker cover, I've taken off the rockers, I've exposed the um, injectors and now we can actually look down onto the head and when we prime the engine with diesel then we can see if anywhere starts dripping some diesel um, and that way we can determine which of the injectors is leaking. Now uh, this is going to be really hard to film and do by myself, but I'll uh, try my best. Oh, and we have a diesel leak there. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That did not go as I wanted. Um, Look at that. There's a totally loose fuel line. So um, 
That explains the diesel loss. Okay, so it's really hard to tell, but it looks like this one might be leaking some. And that one too, yep. You can see a drip running in the middle there, on the face. That one might be leaking too. That one, I don't know doesn't look like it okay that was hard to tell okay yeah I can definitely see a small small drip there um, and that's cylinder number four seems to be dry on number three there's also a drip coming down from number four you see it's it's just slightly wet there where the shadow passes um, and then number one seems dry number five also hard to tell but i think it's dry it's it's really hard to tell i think my best option is to take the injectors out inspect them very very carefully and then put the Land Rover seals and washers on and then put them back in and do this test again So let's compare the Britbox uh, seals and washers. So here I have saved the old Britbox washers and seals as well. Uh, so we'll see. So as you can see, here I have a magnet. This should easily be able to pick up these washers if they were anything other than copper. But it doesn't seem to work at all. It just sticks to the metal under the cardboard. Nothing there. So we'll try the other set. Nothing. None of these are magnetic. So that's, that's confirmed. That's two sets. So now it's time to actually look at the original set. So these are genuine Land Rover washes and seals. I'm really hoping that everyone is right about the grid part seals and that they are too thin. Here we have an original seal and here's a grid part seal. And well the color doesn't make it easy to compare them but they they look quite the same to me. Which is a shame for me because I, I really hoped that the grid part seals were bad so uh, replacing these might not do the difference. But we'll see. We'll uh, just replace it all now and then stick them back in and try again. Okay, so all the injector seals are replaced and now we'll uh, put the, all the injectors back in the car. Uh, put the clamps on, torque them down and then try the leak test again.
Okay, so now we're uh, back at the point where we started almost. I've got the new seals in, down through the genuine original seals and washers as well. I've torqued all the injectors down and I've put the injector wiring harness on. So now it's a matter of bleeding the system and then uh, see if we have any leaks. And uh, I'm really praying that we don't have any leaks anymore because I don't know I don't know what to do if, if it's still leaking. Let's hope for the best. Nothing on five. Nothing on four. Nothing on three. Nothing on two. Think. Nothing on one. Five looks alright, four looks alright, three gets a little better every time. I don't know if you can even see it there. Number two also is a little wet, you can see the drip there in metal. And number one is dry. So it's now a few days later and um, I'm just going to do this test again before we start swapping injectors out. Um, so I'm priming the engine and uh, checking to see which injectors are leaking. So we can actually swap the leaky ones for the non-leaky ones and do the test again. Okay, so um, we have a really bad result here. So I've swapped places for this injector, uh, number three and number five. And it was number three that was leaking. But now I've swapped places and I can see that it's still leaking here. So um, uh, position number three. So I'm suspecting that there's something wrong with the head. Okay guys, I have found it. There's a beautiful crack in the injector bore. A cracked head. Well, I guess that's the end of the video. The head is cracked and I don't know really what to do. Comment any suggestions if you know where to find a second hand head in the UK or in Europe uh, that I can buy or if there's uh, any, any way of fixing this. But I know that, uh, that it's either to get a new head or to get a new engine or replacement engine. We'll see. My uh, cheap Defender just got a lot uh, more expensive. Yeah. So on that bombshell, uh, please give me a like, please subscribe and please share this video uh, so there's something positive at least. <laughs> and uh, we'll see you in the next video and uh, I don't know what we'll uh, be doing then, but uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.